be really quiet. This is Palomo Cathedral. It was built in the year 1184 and it's pretty cool. Even the outside is awesome. I'll show you that next time. But there's tombs here and catacombs and it's a weird mix of different styles. I just wanted to get out and see some of the town because we've been so busy with January transfers and matches and just taking a breather. But if we can all back up quietly, we'll all, come on, we'll all get out of here, get down to the ground and uh, play some football because it's Project Palomo time. Welcome folks, I'm your old mate DP. We are in the DP Dome for Project Palermo. If you've watched earlier episodes, welcome back. And if you're new here, go watch the other ones first or some of this isn't going to make a hell of a lot of sense to you. But since you were last here, things have happened. I'm very happy to report we now have a goalkeeper, <laughs> which is handy in football, I hear. Uh, but uh, Christian Fructor is in on loan. We didn't go with the other guy. We went with this guy, and he's been pretty good so far. As you can see, he's played four games. He's conceded four goals. He's kept two clean sheets, uh, average rating of 7.03, and he has been much better than Gomi. And that's about all the business that was done, really. Uh, we did move on Patrick Peter. He signed a contract with Atalanta, uh, and I wanted him out of the club because he was getting upset. So we've let him go for 20 grand. The board wasn't overly happy. Bruto has gone out on loan. Uh, Sarigu, we saw him leave last episode. Jonathan Pitao has gone out on loan. Uh, Tobai Gambini has also gone out on loan. So just a bunch of loans leaving. And in terms of signing, the director of football just went mad and decided to throw a couple of hundred grand at youngsters who are never going to play for us. So that's totally fine. I can't remember if we looked at Samuel Dow. Uh, last time or if he was in yet but he is and he's been pretty good too it's not setting the world on fire but he's been fine results wise uh, the other thing of note is we're up into eighth place on 37 points since we were last year not too far away nine points behind Vicenza now and there's enough games left that you know it could be a thing but here's what happened since we were last together as a community uh, so we played Brescia and Cotone. We went, uh, came back home. Uh, Vanessa came to pay us a visit. We beat them 1-0, thanks to an own goal. So a bit of luck there. Then uh, we went away to Vicenza and we lost 1-0. And I was a little bit upset. That wasn't much fun. But Catanzaro came to our place. We beat them 2-0. And then Cagliari, who were, I believe, top of the league during this game, 2-3. We pushed them all the way and it was a pretty good match we were toothless in the second half for the most part. Well, more so for the first half than anything. It was one all at half time, uh, And then they scored two goals uh, in the 82nd minute. Uh, Chidira got pulled one back and I thought maybe we could pull out an equaliser because we were very much on the attack. Yeah, we were, we were pipped in the end. Very sad. But they're top of the league. We're not expected to beat them. But today we've got an away game and a home game. It's the Pizza Tootsie Roll party. We're playing Pizza away and we're playing Tootsie Roll at home. And Pizza are up first. So we can go to our tactical meeting. I'll show you what I've been up to shape-wise. This, we've got a bit of asymmetry happening. It's just we're getting overrun in midfield and we're really struggling against these flat back sevens that the Italian teams like to play. It's horrible. But this has been working. We've got two goals of the team that are top of the league. We've got some lines starting to form now. We do have some injuries. So Samuel Dahl got sick. He's got a cold. So he's out for a couple of days. He should be back for the next game, hopefully. And we're trying to get fitness into some of these other players. But this combination here, we've still been using Renocchio a little bit. He's actually quite good, despite him whinging about game time. It turns out he was kind of justified. The plan for this match is just to go with whoever's got the highest average ratings at the moment. Also, uh, Brunori has continued scoring goals, which is nice. He's now got eight goals out of 22 matches, and his form, as always, is a little bit iffy. But he had a bit of a purple patch, which was nice. No result though in that Cagliari game. So Chidira gets the nod because he scored. Bit of a worry about Sosedo. Uh, Volpato picked up another injury, unfortunately. So he's just getting back to fitness now. Expect to see him off the bench. 
And yeah, let's go through the lineup. So Fructal in goal, Chakaroni, Nicolau, Walakowicz and Pirozzi are our defensive four. Abdul Gard is a defensive midfielder playing as a BWM. Some people think uh, it means ball winning midfielder. As we all know, fans of your old mate DP, bloody well mangle them. That's what it stands for. And Blin is going to play as a central midfielder on support. So we can drop back a bit to help out with defense, but we can also push forward to support the attackers and get some more numbers up in that area of the pitch. Then new boy Marrera, the loanee from Manchester City, gets a nod on the left wing. Vasic I'm bringing in because he's been training really well. I want to get more fitness into him and we're not expected to win this game so we can try some stuff out. Throwing him into the mincer. Di Francesco on the right and Chidira up front. So let's go and get into this match. We've been playing much, much better. Even when we haven't won, we've still been attacking. But again, the, the chance creation is the problem. And I'm just trying to find a way to create more opportunities for ourselves. The asymmetric thing seems to be putting teams off a little bit, which I like. And it should be more effective against the formation that Pisa are playing with their defensive mid and two midfielders. I'm hoping we can just sort of overrun their defense a little bit. They're probably hoping to do the same thing to ours. We're also now playing with wingbacks. So Cecharoni's playing as an inverted wingback to come across and fill some space in the center when or if he needs to. Perotti is playing as a complete wing back and Darwin when he's on the pitch is playing as a complete wing back as well just to try and get some more attacking oomph into the squad and score some more goals goals help win games I've heard there's your hot football manager tip for the day but here we go we've got the football I've just dropped some encouragement so if we concede here that's going to upset everybody but hopefully we do something awesome long ball to Di Francesco turns looking for a pass finds Perotti he's in the area and shoots their keeper saves. It's a good save. He needed to make that because that was a certain goal. Otherwise, generally, if the keeper doesn't stop a shot like that, it'll go into the girl because they stand in front of it a lot of the time. Yep. Yep. More flares going off. Oh, I love that. And that's a great save from Fructal. Worth the loan fee. My, I feel so much better having an effective goalkeeper between the sticks. Yes, he's conceded a few, but he's kept a couple of clean sheets. Gomi was just terrible and old, and that's a great clearance to get ourselves out of a spot of bother. But so far, so good. We've had the better of the play, way more possession, but again, just the chances not really happening for us. So we'll drop some more encouragement. We're five minutes away from half time. I mean, a point against Pisa, there's absolutely no uh, issue with that, but going one nil down is a bit more of an issue. Again, we're not expected to win this game. This, these are not the teams we should be competing with at the moment. But we have been competitive, and I'd like to see that continue. That's a lovely pass and a great strike. Not too much for Duke and do there. He covered his post, but the dude went the other side, and fair play to him. Still, it's disappointing. Chidira has been awful on a 6.2, and I don't know what to do about that. So I'd like to change his role. I've tried him as a pressing forward. And that hasn't really paid off. So let's get him doing the advance forward thing. He's got like 10 minutes. Otherwise, I'm putting on Brunori. 6.2 is an absolute disgrace. Uh, we're going to criticize him for it. Um, I'm really quite angry with how poorly you've played. Everybody else needs to step it up a gear as well. But no response from the team talk. That's alarming. Right. Here we go. An attacking highlight for us. Marrera crosses into the area. Marrera, by the way, got an assist in one of the matches and scored a lovely goal it was great i wish you lot were here to see it but he's looking really good he's settling in can't see it today he's on a 6.4 but we are playing a very very much a quality side and you can see there they just pluck on the ball out of the air we can't connect our passes together we're at sixes and sevens it's not going to be our day i suspect yeah that's uh that's a problem right um i can't I can't allow a player in the 6.2 to stay on the pitch. Just can't do it. What we will do, though, is... Do we really need to see this? I'll let you watch it again. You're welcome. That was close. Fruta was in the right spot. We probably should have done better there. But that's what I get for talking him up. We're going to go attacking and go at these clowns. Give them something else to think about. Herrera's on a 6.3, which isn't great. And he's just lost the ball there. 
And now Pisa with a chance to hit us on the counter, unless we can box them up and keep the ball in their half, which doesn't look like we can because they are just playing it into some space now, having a run at us. This is a problem. This is a problem. I don't want to get absolutely decimated today. If we can keep the scoreline respectable, I'll be happy, but I don't want to go down 4 or 5 nil. So going attacking is probably not the right way to go about it. But again, we need to put some pressure on them and get the ball up the other end of the park <clears throat> because we've just not been doing it. Apologies for the, the coffee noise there. Oh that, oh, that was nearly a goal. Richter was never going to get to that if it had been on target. Right, Marrera has been pretty ineffective as well. And Abdulgard. It was uh, a calculated risk bringing Abdulgard into the, the team. The idea was just to shore things up a little bit in the center and give us some more defensive oomph. And as you see, that's, that's played out brilliantly, being 2-0 down after 54 minutes. <laughs> Way to shore things up, TP. And maybe, you know, complete wing-backs uh, attacking... Minded defensive players trying to get forward is not the way to keep a respectable scoreline. But, you know, what are you going to do? Good chance goes begging for Di Francisco there. He's got to do better. He's on a 6.7. Marrera is on a 6.3. Everyone I've mentioned today has been disappointing. So I'm just going to stop naming players and you can guess who they are. Or you can read their names. Zoom in a bit if you need to. But, hmm, this is not ideal. Right, Marrera is going to come off. And... We will bring on De Mariano. Abdelgaard's been awful, so Ranakia can come on for him. Do we swap these guys over? Yeah, I think so. And he can just do that, I guess. That's, that's fine. Or a box of box, maybe. Yeah, because he can help out with defense and get forward a little bit. And I guess that will do for the time being. So we're attacking, but we're not really creating anything. Unpause the game, DP. It works heaps better. There we go. Right. Is, is this... Oh, we've got a highlight. Chance for Brunori from a free kick. Come on. Stick it in the top corner. I dare you. I double dare you. No. Nope, cheeky one. It's a cheeky one. And it's a goal for Perotti. The ref's going to have a look at the offside. It's not offside, ref. He's never offside. Don't you dare. Yeah, it's a goal. It is a goal for us, Benuri. That was a very cheeky shenanigans free kick. Full credit to the set piece coach there. And Proozzi with a tidy, tidy finish. How close was this offside? Not even. Not even. This guy's not interfering with play whatsoever. And that is quite tasty. Uh, Di Francesco appears to have picked up a, a knock or been cladded. So he's going to come off and Valparto... Is going to come on for him for a little run around. And that'll do for now. I've got one more stoppage and two, one more substitution we can make after this. So whoever goes red first can have a breather. We'll encourage the boys. Positive signs. That's got the scoreline looking a little bit more respectable. Vapato with a free kick into the area. Nicolau is lurking underneath it. Now he turns, passes to Vasic. And shoots over. Well, the keeper's got a hand to that, actually. Sorry, I just had to scratch my ear. We're pushing now. We've got him on the back foot. Valpato with the corner. Launches it in towards the far post. While he was there, no joy. And now a chance for Pisa to hit us on the counter. That's a professional foul. And Ciccaroni is probably picking up a yellow card for that one. He has. And we need to be careful now and not lapse in the concentration. Clear your lines, boys. Push him out. Get in front. We've just got players lurking around, wide open, but they're offside there. That was silly of them. And now we just need to get the football from them. Win that header. We do. Good work, Nicolau. Vasic now to Nicolau. I really want Vasic to be good, and I think he could be. Same with Valparto. If, he can, if we can get him fit and keep him fit, he could be great. There's Blin. We've equalised. Oh, I had to clap my hands. Alexis Blin. Brunori might have been offside, but who cares? Come on, ref. Don't be a monster. This would be huge. Goal awarded. It's 2 all. Palermo are fought back from 2-0 down. Great work from Volpato. Has his little run. Passes in to Ranocchia. And then Blin. Bang. Lovely strike. 
and I'm a tactical genius. The substitute's combining to set up the chance, and now we'll encourage again. This may have woken Pisa up a little bit, so we need to be wary. We might just drop back to positive. We're still going to be on attacking for this highlight, though. So we may concede here. Don't let him shoot. Oh, rubbish. It's taken a big deflection. We'll go straight back to attacking. And Perotti on a yellow card and Tyron. We're going to take him off and bring on uh, Carasoni, the other pastor man who's not fit enough to play. What are you talking about? I've used all the stoppages. That is ridiculous. So Perotti is going to play on, I've decided. And yeah, <laughs> do a job. Thanks, game. I always lose track of that. It literally tells you on that screen how many stoppages you've used and everything else. But it's 3-2. I don't think we deserve to lose this one, just quietly. That's disappointing to concede that late winner, but to be fair, it was always on the cards. Our strike has really let us down today. <sighs> Unlucky, boys. The Chidira experiment was an abject failure. No more pressing forwards for us. We're still in 10th. That is fine, but we're losing ground to Pisa. But we were just outclassed today. But now we pick ourselves up. We dust ourselves off. Quick turnaround for the Tootsie Roll game. So I'll meet you there in just a minute. And hopefully we can pick up three points. It is time to play the Tootsie Rolls or Shutti Roll or Sutti Roll. No idea how to say it. I'm going with Tootsie Roll. They are red and white too. Tootsie Rolls aren't red and white. Anyway, team selection wise, we've rotated a little bit because these guys are all the way down the table. Always dangerous. Hasn't really worked out for us in the past, but we're giving it a crack anyway, because why not? I like to live dangerously. So Fructal in goal. Dahl is back into the squad on the left-hand side. He's got over his sniffles, and in he comes with Nicolau, Wolakowicz, and Karasoni on the right-hand side. He's not uh, Matt Sharp at all, but just give him a bit of game time. Then Blin and Ranokia comes back in for Abdulgard, who was just awful in the last game. Marrera, Vasic, and Fulpato gets a nod on the right-hand side to get some match fitness back into him and he made a big difference at the end of that game helped set up that goal so yeah Valpato wanting to be awesome and then Brunori back in up front because Chidira again was just terrible in the last game a 6.2 hmm. 6.2 rating and you're not playing the next game you get swapped out that's the law that's just the rule if you're not doing that and your football manager save that's why you're failing and if you're succeeding and you're not doing that you're you're succeeding wrongly. So, yeah, there's that. No one cares about my team talks. Everybody hates me. Nobody likes me. Decent crowd in. Look at the size of our ground. It's glorious. Let's just kick off the game and hopefully pick up three points. So with that result against Pisa, we drop back down to 10th, but we're only in 9th, so I'm really not too stressed about it. Mid-table is absolutely fine as far as I'm concerned for our first season here. I'd love to finish higher. I'd love to get into the, uh, the playoff or whatever it's called or get into one of the automatic spots, but we're running out of games and our form hasn't been setting Sierra B alight. Volpato's beaten this guy for legs though. He's got a chance to cross it in. He does. Brunori's underneath it. Heads it back towards the goal and scores. Matteo Brunori with an assist from Volpato. Once again, demonstrating a tactical genius and now makes a couple of changes, and bang. A 1-0 lead after not even a minute and a half of play. We're going to win 14-0 and do it at a canter. We're probably not. We'll go and concede now. Because the football manager is always listening, and it's going to punish me for my hubris. We've all seen this happen before. But here's Dahl, fresh off his layup with a cold, the poor dear. We sent him some chicken soup and some crusty bread, or... Uh, some cold and flu medication and he came good so straight back into the team because I like him and I want him to do well I know he's only a loanee but as far as I'm concerned if you're a loanee we're going to use you because I regard you as my player unlike what we do in our Twitch save Deadpool FC you can get over to Twitch drop a follow over there for Deadpool underscore 2028 and get on board the Deadpool FC train we created our own club we started in tier 10 in England we've got ourselves up to tier 7 and we're a couple of results away from getting ourselves up to the Vanarama National League North or South if you're missing it what is wrong with you get over there and check out Deadpool FC we have 
a ton of fun. Meanwhile, here in Italy, in an alternate universe, Valpato is having another run with the football. He's quite good at dribbling. And what has Bernouri done there? That ball has just gone straight past him. And there's no excuse for that. You've got to be onto it, sir. Now turn and shoot. He does and scores. I'll just shut my face because he knows what he's doing. And that's an assist for young Vasic, the youngsters, all getting involved. And Brunori back into the goals. This is the Matteo Brunori I remember from our first stint here at Palermo years ago. And I, I should never have sold him because he scored a lot of goals. And that was our undoing back in the Wizard of Oz. But we're riding the wrongs. That's what this save is all about. And Brunori is determined to repay the faith that I previously didn't show him at all. 40 points this puts us on. Level on points with Barry, but with a better goal difference. So we could go even higher, but I suspect head-to-head -head is something that's a thing here rather than goal difference, which is stupid. Get, get, get it together, Italy. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, now we've got to do defendy things. That's not what I've built this team for. I've built this team to attack and free-flowing craziness and wicked overhead kicks and corners and all those sorts of good things. Not that it's defending, Lark. But we're 2-0 up and we're not going to stress. We're only 25 minutes into this match. And we're well on top. But well, Pato's taken a knock, wants to come off. Could be a tight hamstring. He's just recovering. Maybe we can nurse him to half time I don't really want to risk him doing more damage but at the same time I hate making first half substitutions that's a penalty right there Marrera was just absolutely cluttered by this Zanotti clown he's just taken his legs out from under him penalties under review from the VAR folk and they're saying no penalty that is ridiculous to be fair Marrera was more or less running out of play it wasn't really a goal scoring opportunity but I don't want to be fair. I want to be horribly, horribly biased and unfair. And we was robbed, is what's happened there. Absolutely robbed. Very happy with the way things go and keep it up, lads. That's all good. We'll give Volpato a couple of minutes and then we'll take him off just to protect him. Because I don't want him picking up another knot. We're going to do that now. At 2-0, we are going to make a couple of changes. Eddie Salcedo is going to come on and have a little run around for us. Who else needs some match fitness that I've been ignoring for ages? Uh, let's see here. Defense-wise, Lekowicz, we can throw on Checkeroni. Do I really want to do? Yeah, I do. I do. I really do. Uh, Blin's going to have a breather because he's super important. So Segura can come on and play the bloody well mangle on there for us. And that's three changes for now. I'm checking how many stoppages I've got left. I'll have two remaining after this. I'm all over it. We're learning already. We're improving as a manager. It's all part of the coaching course that I'm doing. Uh, the club did allow me to do a coaching course. I'm studying for, I think, my Continental A license. We'll check that out in the next episode. Can't be bothered right now. But... We are studying for a new coaching badge, and hopefully we can attain it. Vasic is tired now, as he should be. He played two days ago. So I can understand that. And probably Marrera will change as well. And give De Mariano a little run. Or someone else. Who knows? Here's Salcedo. Crosses in. Brunori's underneath it. No joy. Segre trying to beat his man to the ball, but could not. But it's fallen to him now. Here's Ranokia to Salcedo. He's got the pass through to Brunori. Can he get the hat trick? Can he what? Matteo Brunori. Ladies and gentlemen. Missed out in the last game because I was experimenting with Shadiri. And Brunori's like, hey boss, I'll show you why that was dumb. And he's absolutely showing me today. Mammoth effort. Three goals. Could take him off to rest, but I'm not going to. Let's get four. Matteo, four I want. If you want to impress me. I'm a harsh taskmaster, but it's the only way they'll learn. Right, Vasic can come off four. Yeah, very. That works for me. And for my final trick, do we rest Marrera? I said I would rest Marrera. 
But I'm worried about the defence getting tired. Nicola has played a lot of football, but I don't have another centre back on the bench. So I think it will be Francesco Damiriano will come on from Herrera. He's been working hard and doing well. Wasn't his best game today, but 6.9, 6.8, nothing to sneeze at. Unless you're Dahl, who might still be sneezing following his cold. I'm obsessed with this cold for some reason. I can't figure it out. Oh, don't let them score now. I just clicked on the pray shout. When will I learn? When will I learn? Never is the answer to that question. I'll never learn. I refuse. Thankfully, that shot's gone wide. Fructal diving like the superhero to try and spare my blushes. He's on my, si he's on my side. He respects me. Go, Fructal. Ten minutes to go. We're 3-0 up. We're doing it comfortably. Up to eighth. This would put us and 12 points <laughs> behind one of the promotion spots which again we're not gunning for is it possible sure if we win all our games and everyone up the top end bottles it so say he's in and shoots when you probably should have played it across he, he had room for a pass and it would have been a certain goal but rush of blood to the head i'm not going to argue with him we've seen him score some great goals so far this season here's segre now running across top of the area has a shot. We're just shooting for fun. It's it's just a training drill at this point. We've done it easily in the end. Some players are tired, but Brunori only on a 9.1 after a hat trick seems a little bit harsh. But that stretch sounds well done, lads. That was a good win for us. And Brunori, big pat on the head for you. You were excellent tonight. Jolly good show. And Salcedo off the bench with a 7.6 as well. I thought you did well tonight. Good job, lad. So, let's have a look at some situations. How bad is Volpardo? Ah, it's only a couple of days, thank goodness. So, that substitution was the right call. Probably should have done it earlier. But them's the breaks. Uh, another pat on the head for Benori. We're just giving him all the praise. Anything else interesting happening here? Carrillo is open to selling Blin. Well, you might want to have a chat to me, Giuseppe Carrillo, assistant manager. Giuseppe Carrillo for short, because I'm not interested in moving him on just yet, uh, Brunori, player of the week, as he should be, 31 years old, this guy, but three goals in that game. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And this is how the league table looks right now. So we're in eighth place. Considering we started in 15th when we joined the club, that is not bad. And we have a nice big gap down to those relegation spots. We've got a better goal difference now than Barry, than Venezia then Brescia, then all the teams above us. So that is impressive. Uh, Regiana do have a game in hand on us and they'll be playing Manchover. So they're probably going to jump us and we'll drop down to ninth. But our run in, if we have a look at that, we've got Regiana. So we've got to play all the teams above us again from the looks of things. Although a couple of them are out of the way now. So I think what we will do, we won't do another derby because we've already played Catania. We'll have to look at some different teams. And Barry would be a good measure, actually, because we played Barry early on in our tenure right here and we lost. So we can go and see how we measure up against them. So we will come back and have a look at uh, Askley at home and then Barry away. And that'll be our barriometer for how far we've come as a club. If you'd offered me a win and a draw in two matches where we had to play Pisa before that episode, I would have bitten your arm off. Very happy camper. And if you're a happy camper after that one, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. That would be delightful. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you should probably do that too. Otherwise, you might miss an episode. For now, though, until next time, I shall see you next time. Be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Oh, and say hi to your mum for me.